Today I'm going to show you guys how to stylize a sports portrait. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us on Twitter and on Facebook uh, at Flurn. Just type in Flurn to either of those and you'll find us. Or just Google or any of them. It's really not that hard to find us. <laughs> we got a cool image today. This is actually an image from Felipe. He's entered our contest this week. So there's so many awesome entries already. We're actually going to be editing some this week here on Flurn. But the contest is open until next Tuesday. So continue to submit your sports images. This is really cool. All right, Felipe of launchpadphoto.com. See, look at this mad shout out, son. What we're gonna be doing is, uh, we're gonna be stylizing this image quite a bit. And this is already a great, great image. And there are just a couple of things that I think we could kind of talk about. And uh, those things I think are gonna help this image out and images like that of your own. So oftentimes with sports photos or something like this, the majority of the photo, like what makes it cool, what makes it interesting, all those things, is the styling of it. Like the, you don't see that many sports images done by like Nike or Adidas and things like that that aren't like super stylized. They got you know, lens flares everywhere, crazy colors, lights and darks. And it's just, they're super stylized because this is a genre that kind of expects that and uh, that type of styling does really well with this sort of thing. Just think back to most sports commercials you've seen. They're, it, they've got a lot of style to them. And uh, so that's what we're gonna help to add to this image. And uh, it's gonna be really cool. All right, so the first couple of things, let's just go ahead and talk about what we're going to do with this image and uh, then we can get in and uh, then we can get in and do it. All right, we've got a couple, like an issue with color here. This is obviously on the blue side and this is not. There we go. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this uh, color work here. Uh, also, there's quite a bit, this is like lens flare here and it's just, it's going a bit gray. Um, so I really wanna fix that. This is low contrast. I wanna bring up the contrast quite a bit. Um, we're gonna dodge and burn, dodge and burn this image quite a bit. Um, we can do some sharpening as well. Not a ton, but we can do some sharpening. And then I'd like to see some kind of lens flares. I'm gonna show you guys some nice way to make some lens flares that don't suck. Um, basically. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and make that invisible. I'm gonna grab an adjustment layer. Well, let's go to curves. And then what I wanna do is I wanna kind of match this color here, right over here. And it's kind of a bluish color. We've got some like green on the top and maybe some red down on the bottom. So you could do this in one curves adjustment layer or you could do it in a few. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's just grab our blue channel. I'm gonna hit Command I here and grab a regular brush, make it super large and just start painting this in. There we go. So I'm just adding this blue back and you can see, you know, almost immediately it, it just lends a little bit like, oh, it's starting to look like the other side now. Great. And you can even add a little bit of blue back into the other side as well. Okay, let's grab a other layer. Let's br bring this like purplish color down there. And I'm just, you don't have to do this, but if you wanna make purple, you can bring up your red channel and your blue channel and that's where your purple comes from. So that's kind of fun. There we go. And why not? Let's just add some down there as well. Now, if it's too much, not a huge deal. Really, all you have to do is lower your opacity. So we'll just lower our opacity there just a little bit. OK. So it's, you get the hint of it, but it's not like overtaking your image. Now let's grab some green on the top. Let's go to my curves adjustment layers pull up our green channel and we're pulling up our blue channel as well. All right, and I'm gonna hit Command I up there and then really let's just go kind of large with this. All right, so we've got a pretty nice color range going on here in the image already. Let's just shift click those and hit Command G. We'll group those together. So you don't want it to go too crazy. That might be a little bit too strong of an effect, but already we're looking pretty good. Okay, the next thing I want to do, let's play around with curves because I want some contrast there in my subject. I'm not seeing a ton of contrast. So here with my curves adjustment layer, I'm going to bring, this is actually kind of cool. You can grab this little hand thing here and just kind of click anywhere in your image and pull down where you want it to be darker and you can pull up where you want it to be lighter. That's, you know, pretty much what it is. So, like, ooh, pull this area down, pull this area up. We've got some background music going on. <laughs> All right. There we go. And we'll just play around with that. So you can see in just a little bit, just by like pushing and pulling, 
I'm able to get a bit more contrast in the image. And this type of image, I think, lends itself to this type of contrast. You don't want to do this with all your images, but in this image in particular, I think it lends itself to it. I'm going to go even further. Let's go to a curve adjustment layer. I'm going to pull up our lights and then pull down our darks. There we go. And this will just get painted in a couple areas. So I'm going to hit Command I on a layer mask. Let's go to our brush tool and then paint in at about 10% flow, 20% flow. Kind of paint it dark right around there. I'm just adding some like nice contrast. Shift clicking the layer mask is a really quick, easy way to kind of see if you do want you know, that, that area to be visible in the photo. There we go. And just kind of painting some of that in right back there as well. All right, that looks nice. Just a little bit more contrast. There we go. And this layer here, I'm just kind of like, you know, as you're going through, it's not like this stuff is like, you know, you get it set in the beginning and you can never touch it again. I'm noticing that there was a little bit too much color here on this guy's arm. So I'm just going to the layer mask now and I'm painting black on the layer mask where there was some color on there. Just saying, I don't want that much color on his arm. It's not like you can't change that. It's just a layer. Okay, that's looking good. So next thing I want to do, let's make a new layer. I'm going to hit Shift Option Command E, which is going to make a stamp visible layer. And now I want to do a little bit of dodging and burning, but I'm going to make it kind of like a rough version. So to do this, I'm going to hit Shift Command U, which is desaturate. We're going to change this layer from normal down here to overlay. And then we're going to go filter, other, and here to high pass. And I want to choose a relatively high number here that's going to give me like kind of a dodging and burning effect. So this isn't for sharpening. That's Sharpening is like down here and lower. Up here is for making things look horrible. And right about there is, you know, for your dodging and burning type of effect. This isn't exactly dodging and burning, but it's something similar. Alt or Option, click on your layer mask, and then you can, again, just paint white here where you'd like it to be visible. And this is areas, you know, where you want a little bit more of that contrast. Darks to be a little bit darker, lights to be lighter. So there's, there's that, just a little bit more contrast in there. Um, looks pretty good. All right, pretty cool. Now let's grab a brush tool. I'm gonna just paint with white right over here on top of the soccer ball. Then I'm gonna double click on my layer to bring up our layer style. And uh, basically I just wanna make this not visible where the darks are. So I want this like ball of white to shine right here on the ball. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and hold just right over here, the underlying layer, and click from the left or the right and just drag right over there. Really cool. So we're able to just draw a little bit more attention to the ball in that way. And um, you can do this for really whatever you want. I mean, if I were to make a new layer and just kind of paint with, well, I won't paint with white. I'll paint with like a very nice light blue here. Let's just change this from like normal to color dodge, which is just gonna, let's just gonna go even crazy. Like, whoa, that's insane. Um, you can do the same thing, like double click here and I can hold Alt or Option and say, don't blend in where the underlying layer is darker, just where it's lighter. And then you can get something that's a little bit more, has a little bit more uh, restraint on it. There we go. That's kind of cool. And you know what? I kind of like how that looks. I'm going to see if adding some color onto like the ball and hitting color dodge. I don't know. Maybe I want some of this to be visible on this guy. I, I don't know. I'm just playing around right now. Um, but why not? Playing is fun. <laughs> I like to play. It's nice. <laughs> All right. And let's just hold down alter option here again with the underlying layer. And we can, there we go. Just make this more and less visible. Yeah, I kind of like that too. A nice color dodge. It does stick some blue into the out, to outfit, <laughs> into his costume. Um, <laughs> that doesn't really matter. I think in this case, it's totally fine. It fits with the overall image. All right, might be a little too much on the ball there. I'm just gonna erase it off the ball just a little bit. Okay, that looks really good. What else do we have? A little bit of sharpening and some um, lens flare, then we'll be done. Let's go ahead and shift click all those and hit Command G to group those together. All right, so we started off with this. We changed our colors and we added some of the style. Let's take care of the lens flare and uh, some sharpening. So I'm gonna make a stamp visible layer, new layer, shift option, Command E. We're gonna go to filter and down here to render. There we go. And we're gonna 
go to lens flare, and you can kind of like pick right in the middle where you want it. Let's just bring our brightness down just a little bit. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now, if you want to move your lens flare or change colors, here's what I would recommend. I would recommend filling your layer with black. So you can hit D for your default colors, Option Delete, which will fill with your foreground color. In this case, it's black. Command F, which is going to reapply the same filter you just did. And then you can change your blending mode from normal down here to screen. And then you've got a layer, a uh, lens flare on a new layer, which is really nice. OK, now what I'm, the reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to change the color of this lens flare. So I'm going to hit Command M for my curves. And that's just going to allow me to pull my red channel down a little bit. There we go. And pull our blue channel up. There we go. So there's the before and the after. Just changing the color so it actually like fits. And I'm going to grab a layer mask and just paint black on my layer mask. I'm not covering all this stuff up. I'm just covering up the majority of this other like flyery stuff right there. And it's just going to look a little bit better. Why not? And then we're going to hit Command J, right click, hit Command T. All right. And then flip that horizontally. Let's just bring it right back over there. And I'm going to make it bigger, too, because well, I just I feel like it mostly. That's why I just want to. <laughs> There's no other reason. All right, that looks good. And you just don't want it to look the exact same as the other side, you know? Like, switch it up a little bit. You don't need it to look the exact same. That's not important. All right, there we go. And if you have too much color anywhere, things like that, um, you can just go to hue saturation. Like there's a little too much color on his head. So I'm going to bring my saturation down, hit command I to invert my layer mask. And we're just going to paint white. Get his face back to where we kind of wanted it. There we go. Same thing down here. Let's bring down the saturation there as well. And then there's a little bit of flare here. I'd like the darks to be actually a little bit darker. So I'm going to paint white right there. All right, because you don't want the like flare stuff over top of what should be a pure black. It just it looks like hazy and just not good, basically. All right, looking pretty good. I'm gonna go back into my layers and just see like I'm turning it, things layers off and on, just to see if there are any things that I feel you know could be like come down in effect just a little bit. Let's put a layer mask on this and uh, paint black over there just so I can get a little bit more detail back in that part of his arm. All right, looking good. So really didn't take that long. And we've got all those things done and uh, created a pretty stylized image. And uh, yeah, let's check out the before and after. I'm going to hold Alt or Option and click on this eyeball here. There's the before and the after. And uh, really, really cool. If you don't think it's, it should be a little bit less strong, just group all those layers and just lower your opacity a little bit. And you can get something right in the middle there we go. In this case, I think that works for us. So there's the before and the after. Not too bad. Guys, thanks so much for watching Florin. I hope this just makes your life a lot better. Just every <laughs> single part of your life gets better from having watched this tutorial. Um, you're going to be more attractive. Your hair is going to grow faster. Uh, you're just probably going to get a lot more attention from the opposite sex in a positive way. And uh, you're welcome. Thanks again, guys. I'll learn you later. Um, animals will start to flock to you. Wild animals will just, uh, birds will perch on your shoulder for no particular reason at all. You'll suddenly find that your digestive issues have cleared up. You'll no longer have to worry about plucking out your nose hairs or your ear hairs because you just won't grow anymore, so that's nice. Your farts won't smell bad anymore. They'll smell mostly like roses or strawberries or a combination of the two. Suddenly be able to sing very high notes without even trying. Hi guys, Kat from Flirn here. For more information on our episode, please check out our website at www.flirn.com. Also check out our latest photo shoots, which include turning a woman into a chocolate bar, making an epic burger, and lighting a hand on fire. If you want a free tutorial, please sign up for our newsletter because it's a free tutorial. It's awesome.